All right, you should be presenter now. Sorry about that. Thank you for saying something. Okay. So uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see my screen now. We can, yes. Go for Great. it. Great. So good afternoon, guys. Uh, my name is Ren Fan Yeo and currently a second year master's student um, at University of Michigan and under the instruction of Dr. Chark and Asian. So today's topic is about what PWA could bring about to Sukai community. So firstly, if you guys are not familiar with PWA, this is the abbreviation for progressive web application. So with the help of service workers, we will make our traditional web application in parallel to the native apps. So the question may be, uh, why do we want a PWA for Sakai? So here are list three main reasons for PWA. So the first one is installable. It sounds quite normal for a native app, right? But what if our Sakai website also has an icon on our home screen so that we can just click on that icon to visit Sakai? So the second one is re-engageable. When using native apps, we'll receive notifications that will re-engage re ourselves to that app, right? But for PWAs, we can also do that. This, the third one is offline support. So for most websites being offline, just like being the end of the world. But for PWAs, we'll be as strong as native apps, even if we are offline. Okay, so I think that's time for uh, some screenshots and demo. So first comes the instability of PWA. So as you can see on the left screenshot, this is, is what will happen when we first visit Sakai PWA. It's just a normal website, except for an installability, an install icon on the top of our tab. So if you click on that icon, you will see a pop-up window and ask if you want to install this PWA. If you click on that icon, then here you go. You will receive, uh, you will have the PWA installed on your device and you can see the icon on your home screen. It's just simple and easy, right? So after, I'm sorry, after the installation, you can just treat it as a native app. If, if you click on the icon of Sakai PWA, you'll get this. If you guys are familiar with Sakai, we have the functionality for viewing and creating different tasks. So today, basically, I will demonstrate the cool and nice features of PWA from the perspective of creating um, a task. So now let's come to uh, the re-engageability of PWA. So uh, let's say we are currently using other apps on our computer or mobile. And if I trigger the push notification, I will receive a notification banner on the right of our screen. That's something we often see in a native app, right? And besides that, a PWA can do more than that. If you return to a home screen, you will see the red badge on our Sakai PWA icon. So I would say in the future, I believe we can combine this feature with Sakai's notification and make, make Sakai better and better. Um, so uh, next we come to the offline feature of PWA. So firstly, as we can see on the left screenshot, currently we are offline, right? And usually it will be the end of the world for a website. But remember we are PWAs, so we'll be as strong as a native app. So not only can we see uh, all the tasks, but we can also create a task when we are offline. We are connected, when we are uh, connected to the internet again, our PWA will just synchronize the tasks that we created offline to our backend server. So I think this feature is very helpful when users are having a poor or just no internet connections. So yeah, I think that's all for uh, the demo. And thank you guys. Uh, I think that's time for some Q and A's if you guys have any questions. Okay, I'm looking for questions um, and there haven't been a ton. Are there questions? Or maybe I should ask Adrian. What questions should they ask, Adrian? And while we're thinking about that, um, Julianne, how's Julianne doing? 
Yeah. So I just see a question on discussion. It says, "Oh yeah, there we go. Take right. an exam while offline." I think, uh, yes, we can do many things when offline. But as speaking of the submission of the student's task, a student exam, I think when he wants to submit his uh, task, he will he 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 must be online. Yeah. So. So, so anything that we make work on the offline, we have to kind of rebuild it, right? Yeah. And so think of PWA as like a different portal, but we have, if we were going to do that, we'd have to create a, a bit of extra stuff that, um, so it's not, it's not like all the Sakai UI is automatically offline. That's not it. We're going to have to take a subset of the Sakai UI and re-implement it offline. And so it's pretty likely that we're not, if we could make a thing where we have like a little tiny offline quiz, right? But to say all of Samago will go offline because of this, the answer is no, right? We have to make things, um, we have to, it's not like that we can just take the current Samago code and say magically wave our hands and it works offline. Um, the, the, and so we gotta, we gotta, there's some plans to make maybe a limited version, a, a limited subset of lessons, um, a limited subset of lessons available, but maybe not everything that's interactive in lessons. Um, and so the PWA will be a much smaller UI. The, off, the things that work offline will be a much smaller UI. So. Yeah, okay. I mean, I get the question, uh, people say, you know, is there an app? That's what they want to know. And you go, uh, well, PWA is an app. Right. It is. I, I realize that. But yeah, but you want to say, but that's a more subtle question than just is there an app? There's there's more to it than that. Yeah, the PWA give us us app like capabilities, and that's the exactly thing we're exploring. Yeah. Um, in that it you can have a thing on your desktop that has a little red thing that just pops up yeah. without right. being in the website. Um, yeah. and so but it, it takes work to make functionality equivalent in offline and in yeah. PWA. The other thing that I would add is uh, the screenshots you saw were from a running Sakai. They weren't sort of just mock-ups. Mm -hmm. There is a branch, much like a year ago, we had a Trinity branch that was like somewhere. There is a PWA branch. Uh, I believe it's in Adrian. Adrian has that PWA branch. But you could imagine this my, Trinity sometimes between now and 24, that PWA branch will move into Sakai. Yeah. And then Adrian eventually has his hand up. So let's, oh, Adrian, what did you want to say? Yeah, I, I just wanted to say that, um, you know, from, from, from my perspective, right, the, the strategy with this PWA, PWA um, efforts is we want to make, we, we want to continue making Sakai more responsive, right? And, and it's getting there, right? And kind of the new portal stuff with Bootstrap 5 is going to really help on that front, right? We want to make, the current Sakai UI more responsive and work better on mobile, yeah? Um, the PWA thing at the, at the moment, I, I kind of see it as a as a useful a useful adjunct, right? It's a place where you get notifications and you get the red dots and you can see something's happened and maybe you can click a link and, and go into the actual website, right? And the website's responsive and it works well, yeah? Um, <clears throat> I don't see, I mean, the PWA power is 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 powerful, right? You can do all the offline stuff. That's that's like a separate, a yeah. slightly separate thing to to the responsive part of what we need to do with Sakai's UI, right? It's the two, you know, the two the two kind of separate things. So I think what you are, you know, what I'm what I'm hoping you are fans going to do is is get notifications working really well, right? And that's what we're hoping we can get in for 23. It may be a reach goal not too sure but if we can get notifications in for 23 that will i think that will be awesome yeah right okay very good thank you thank you all of you